this case is really bugging me, Constable Bamble. No use getting a bee in your bonnet, my dear earwig. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, sweetie. <gasps> Daniel, I asked you to vacuum the apartment. Oh, yeah. I got it out, but then I got caught up pretending it was an elephant. Oh, never mind. Brush your teeth, go to the bathroom, and then straight to bed, okay? Mom needs to rest her eyes for five minutes. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Earwig. The culprit was... Hey! They were about to reveal who did it! I bet it was Mrs. Ladybug. Shh! Mom is really tired when she gets home from work. Tired? Tired? From playing squirrel all day? Sorry, but that's not what I call a real job. Hey, I'll have you know Mom works really hard. And she also does the laundry, the shopping, the cleaning. Try being a world champion. Now that's a lot of work. Taking care of your skin, keeping your agent in line, taking selfies. You have no idea. You wouldn't last two hours in Mom's shoes. Oh, yeah. Daniel. There we go. It's five in the morning. Mom will be waking up soon. Not today, Daniel. Not today. You unplugged her alarm? Shh. Today, you and I are going to play squirrel. What? But that's Mom's job. We can't do that. If your mom can do it, how hard can it be? Hey! What? Hmm, vacation. Cruise ship in the tropics, all inclusive. Well, maybe Mom could use a little time off. Okay then, Eriko, but we've got to nail this. No way are we going to get Mom in any trouble. Don't worry. By day's end, everyone's going to respect Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> Some delicious chocolate cocoa squares. A balanced breakfast with vitamins B12, B14, and B17. Hey, what kind of hellhole is this? It's Mom's job. We need to sell all of these boxes of cereal, Erico. People pay to eat this? Yes, Erico. Because the secret to a balanced breakfast is delicious chocolate cocoa squares. <laughs> hey, this ain't so bad. <laughs> Erico, what are you doing? Hmm, you're right. What am I doing? This would taste a lot better with some milk. We're supposed to sell them, not eat them. I'm just having one last bowl. Hang on. They have toys inside? Yeah, but it's not for you, Erico. It's for the kids. Mosquito claw again. Man, it's clown tooth that I need. Hey, pass me another box there, Daniel. That was the last one, Erico. You've cleared the entire shelf. There are none left. Clown tooth. Don't do it. That's stealing. A mosquito claw again. And boom. We get to go home early. Who's the man now? We got fired, Erico. No, we didn't. We quit. Okay, whatever. Hurry up, Erico. We can't be late for Mom's second job. Yeah, her what? An all-you-can-eat seafood buffet for free? You're the host with the most, Captain. Oh, Captain. Hammers, wrenches, nails. Don't miss our half-price sale. Daniel, remind me, what are we doing here again? It's Mom's second job. You have to point the arrow towards the hardware store to attract customers. Uh. Who rocks mics till they bust and swell, Joe? It's just another fact of life for me, really. All around town, people trying to get down. Whoa! I love these guys. I don't know what they're selling, but I'll buy it pronto. Wow! They're good! Finally, a real challenge. Hang in there, Daniel. I'll show you how to dance with an arrow. 
Okay, plan B. We get rid of the competition. But they're just doing their job. Boo! You call that dancing? What's up, you big chicken? You wanna dance? Come on, then. Come on! Eriko, no! Don't start trouble! What are you scared of? Of a big owl? And a weasel? Who rocks mics till they bust as well, Joe? Did you see the thrashing we gave them? Eriko, they kicked our butt! And we got fired! Yeah, well, frankly, your mom should thank us. Arrow twirler. What's up with that? I hope things go better at the next job. Wait. There's a next job? Oh, Captain, you're terrible. Look out! Iceberg dead ahead! Iceberg? Iceberg? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. It's a snake. I wanted a tiger. Okay, who's next? I want a dinosaur. I want a pony. And here's a triangle. Okay, another snake. Snakes for everyone. Aww. Erico, at least make an effort. They don't seem very happy. Nah, don't worry. We'll redeem ourselves with the cake. Hurry up, Daniel. We haven't got all day. We need to do a good job. It's Timmy's birthday. Yeah, well, Timmy will have other birthdays. And I'm tired. Happy birthday to you. Ah! Do you smell something burning? Ah! It's all right, everybody. Okay, so playing squirrel's not so easy. We got fired again, and Mom's costume is ruined. Yeah, am I glad this day is finally over. Are you kidding? We still need to go cheer on the hockey team, sell tickets at the theme park, walk dogs, prune trees, clean the sewers, and drive this bus. And careful with the paint job. Fired! 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 <sighs> it's just you and me now, Christelle. If we want to get out of here, we gotta stick together. We'll need to find food. <sighs> oh, I can't feel my legs. Mom lost all of her jobs because of us. Empty? No clean clothes? And nobody vacuumed? I told you, Erico. On top of her work, Mom also does the shopping, the cleaning, and the washing. <gasps> you mean she does all that by herself every day? Mm hmm Your mother is a saint, Daniel. But now she's gonna wake up to a filthy apartment. Mm-hmm. With no costume. Mm hmm And no job. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm sure she'll manage. <laughs> we gotta make this right, huh? Sorry, Christelle. I was just too thirsty. Oh. We did it, Daniel. We finally did it. Yeah, but there's still the shopping, the cleaning, and the laundry. <sighs> Okay, 
Five minute break and then we'll go make breakfast. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, I slept so well. Oh no! I slept so well! Oh, it's okay. I'm not late. Wow! Thank you for doing the vacuuming, sweetie. Then you'll see Sue shoots, and he scores. Oh, nice jacuzzi. Does it come gold-plated? <laughs> recipients of the Erico Platano Award! Wow! You have an award named after you, Erico? Of course! They even cast my head for the trophy. The nominees are... Martinelli, also known as the Field Thug. Williams, the kneecapper. They're all gangsters? Hey, easy with the labels. And last but not least, Gerald Sorbier, a.k.a. the gangster. He just recently got out of prison. But Erico, your award is for the dirtiest players in the game. Whatever. People are talking about me. But how can you let your name be associated with that? Believe me, Daniel, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Hmm. Daniel? What's all that? Don't tell me you're still a fan of Platana. He stands for the worst things in football. Dirty play! Cheating! Not cool. Hmm. Uh, no. Not at all. No, wait. It's not what you think. Awkward. Disappointing, Daniel. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm open! Over here! Maya? Awesome. Great assist, Timea. Daniel? We need to talk. You know that everyone is welcome on this team, but this Platana thing of yours is upsetting the balance of the group. But I'm still on the team, right? <clears throat> Daniel, come here! They're talking about me on TV! Ooh, he did a nasty platana on him. That is not the sportsmanship we like to see. I'm not even playing and they're still talking about me. Awesome, right? Daniel? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Erico. You'll always be my friend, but you can't be my hero anymore. What? I'm not good enough for you anymore, is that it? Not my hairstyling head! That's collectible! I've been kicked off the hazelnuts because of you. They don't want me on the team anymore. Wait, you've been kicked off the team? How are you gonna practice? How am I gonna get my body back? Uh, okay. Maybe it's time to improve my reputation. Don't worry, Erico. You'll still be famous, but for the right reasons. This is people's reaction when they hear your name. And this is how we want them to react. Hmm. And how do we do that? So, here's the plan, Erico. You know what people really like? Ah, uh, money? Dogs! You could adopt one, and I'll teach it how to shake hands, roll over, and fetch the paper. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But it's a great idea. People love dogs. And people love people who love dogs. <laughs> okay, animals. I get it. But we'll do it my way. Platana style. 
what you're hearing is a distress call of the last humpback whale. The already endangered mammal was poisoned while in captivity in footballer Erico Platana's swimming pool. <laughs> Such cruelty sets a new low for Platana, whose insensitivity borders on the incredible. How was I supposed to know they can't take chlorine? Well, the good news is that at least everyone is talking about me again. We have to improve your reputation. This is a disaster. Maybe I could take the whale skiing or shopping. Hmm. You know what people like even more than dogs, Erico? Ah, uh, money? No, clowns! You want me to adopt a clown? Better than that. <laughs> we'll hire clowns to put smiles back on people's faces. <laughs> okay, clowns. I get it, but we'll do it my way. Platana style. Erico, I'm not so sure about that. Hello! Ah, what is wrong with you? Hello! Ah, oh, come on! And then I told John, count me out for the Manafort case. <laughs> Hello! Ah! Oh, come on! It's not funny, man. It's not funny. Nuisance complaints are flowing in about the clowns working for Erico Platana. Platana, currently the nation's most hated celebrity, has another scandal on his hands. This isn't going well at all, Erico. But there's one thing that people like even more than dogs and clowns. Ah, uh, money? No! Clown dogs? No! Mm hmm? Hey! No! Apologies, Erico. They like apologies. Okay, apologies. I get it, but we'll do it my way. No, Erico, please don't! Platana style. The so-called apologies made by Erico Platana have disgusted people worldwide, sparking international protests and, in some cases, riots. Ugh, what a terrible, terrible human being. Hurricane Platana is still ravaging the coast, causing significant... Oh, yuck. I stepped in Platana. <laughs> <laughs> hey! What are ya? Some kind of Platana? Terrible. Daniel, am I a bad person? Uh, don't worry, Erico. In a couple of weeks' time, everyone will have forgotten about it. <laughs> Erico, I've been thinking about that whole clown dog business. It's over, Daniel. My career is finished. A couple of clown dogs won't change that. <sighs> don't say that. It's not over yet. Oh, yeah. Look what comes up when I do an internet search of Platana. Ugh. Look at me. I'm finished. I may as well take up tennis. Erico, what is that? It's my old blankie. It comforts me when I feel down. Also serves as a bib. Platana style! Oh, it feels like a bib that's also giving me a hug. This is great, Erico. Yeah, it's fantastic. Erico, that's just what we need. Yeah, a washed up football who can't get off the couch. Yes, that and your snuggle blankie. That's what we have to show people. The truth. That even superstars can feel lonely, sad, like losers. Hey, enough! You want people to pity me now? I'll be a laughing stock. Not a laughing stock, Erico. A human. <laughs> Platana style? No, Erico. Snuggle blanky style. Some days you feel great. You just want to grab life with both hands. But sometimes you're not at your best. At times like these, you can always count on your Platana. 
So when you're down and feeling cranky, pull on your Platana Blanky. It may not be chic nor elegant, and some may not want to admit it, but the Platana has managed to find a way into people's hearts. More than a blanket or a garment, the Platana is a new way of life. In a high-speed, ever harsher and relentless world, the Platana is here to remind us that everyone deserves a little tenderness. It's great to see you again, Daniel. You were right about Platana. All in all, he's not such a bad apple. You're right, Daniel. I've never been so famous. And look, people love me. Hey, that's great, Erico. Maybe in the future, the Platana Snuggle Blankie will be even more famous than you. <laughs> in your dreams, Daniel. And to wrap up our visit, you can see here the very first Platana. The original garment was named after its inventor, Erico Platana, who also played a ritual game called football. Dad, what's football? So what? So Bada Boom sees that it's getting late and that he has to go to work early tomorrow morning. <gasps> oh no! Bada Boom always does that just before bedtime. Heroes need their sleep, too. Have you got Mr. Tickles? Mm-hmm. Your water? Mm-hmm. Your kiss? Mm-mm. Mwah. Good night, sweetie. A little more? A little less? That's it. Good night, Mom. A little more? Mm -hmm. A little less? Hey, that's not nice, Erico. Life isn't nice, Daniel. Aren't you tired of being such a baby? I am not a baby. You sleep in a onesie. They're very comfortable. How am I going to get my body back if you're still tied to your mother's apron strings? Let's talk about it tomorrow, okay, Erico? It's Betty by time. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel, but you leave me no choice. What? Erico? What am I doing outside? What's going on? It's time for you to become a man. That's what's going on. What? And there's nothing like a little wilderness experience to make a real man out of ya. You can't leave me out here in my pajamas. Real men don't need pants. But I don't have any food. Real men hunt for food. But you're eating my cereal. And I know it's hard to believe, but it's for your own good. You can do it. It's just you and me now, Mr. Tickles. We'll have to fend for ourselves until Mom gets home. But we'll never make it without food. It's like cereal for birds. Good thinking, Mr. Tickles! Almost! Yes! <laughs> now that's what I call a manly yell. That's a spirit, Daniel! <laughs> Don't move, Mr. Tickles! Hey! Come back here, you thief! So, what's on TV? TV! What are you, hard of hearing? I said, TV! Daniel! TV! Daniel! <laughs> that kid is never around when you need him. 
Okay, try to look more appetizing, Mr. Tickles. That raccoon won't capture itself. Well done, Mr. Tickles. Hey, Daniel. Hmm? How do you turn on the TV? With the remote. How did you do it before? Lights. TV. Toilet. Ah, so that's why. Multiple traps. Nice work, Mr. Tickles. Now, huh? Daniel! Food! This is Mr. Tickles, and I'm Daniel. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I have to do everything myself around here. <laughs> Carrots? No thanks. Green beans? Yeah, right. Broccoli? Seriously? Ah, finally. Food. Daniel, what's up with this pizza? It's all cold and hard. Well, it's frozen, Erico. Oh, okay, Iron Chef. So what do I do with it? Well, put it in the oven. Ah. Uh -huh. In the bathroom? No, the kitchen. Are you sure you don't want me to help you, Erico? Ha! You help me? I'm a man, Daniel. Real men don't need help. Wow, what is that? This is Rascal, my new pal. He taught me to clean myself, to mark my territory, and now we're going hunting! It's Frozen Erico. You want me to help you, Erico? <laughs> Who needs help? I'm a man. So, the oven. Come on, Platana. You're a superstar. Nobody needs to tell you what an oven is, right? That one. <laughs> Easy peasy. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Oven! Oh no! Daniel! Ah! That kid is never around when you need him! Come on, Platana! Real men always manage on their own! Huh? Daniel! Daniel! Okay, all hmm? right. I can't cook. Or turn on a TV. Or a light. 
Don't wash my clothes. Sort my trash. No, oh, or change a tire. It's good to know how to get by on your own, but knowing how to ask for help when you need it is important as well. I am so glad that you said that, Daniel. Because you're going to need some help to clean up the living room. Hmm? Us? Us? I'm just a ball, remember? Mm -hmm. Wow! Look, Eriko! Rascal came back with friends to help! We're saved! Wait, are you sure? Okay, everyone! We've got to fix everything up before Mom gets home. There comes a time when a man must take responsibility for his actions. Or find someone else to take the fall. Eh? What? No, we can't do that to Rascal. The no. The no. To think that they forced the French window open with a plastic spade. You were so brave, sweetie. Pizza and cartoons tonight, okay? Mwah. We had no choice, Daniel. Sometimes a man has to cover his tracks. I think I'd rather stay a kid a bit longer, Eriko. Door! Door! You have to turn the doorknob, Eriko. Hang in there, buddy. I'm gonna get you out of there. I've got you a great lawyer. Oh, no way! I know. At that price, it's a steal! No! That guy over there! That's the sorcerer who turned me into a ball! Some faces you never forget. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he sees us. That guy is insane! Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sorcerer. Lettuce or toaster? Hmm? Hmm. Ah. Why not both? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, boy. You're crazy to go talk to him. I mean, have you seen that guy? He does seem a little weird. But if we ask him nicely, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. A little weird? A little weird! Excuse me, but I think this is my car. I always forget. I don't have a car. A little weird? Maybe he's car sick? A little weird? Maybe he's in a really big hurry? Stop making excuses for him. That's right. Enough excuses. Who are we talking about? Ah! Hey, I know you. You were at the supermarket. Don't you recognize me? Hmm? Erico Platana. Hmm. The best footballer in the world? Hmm. You turned me into a ball. <sighs> you ruined my life. Nah, still nothing. Why don't you join me for dinner? 
<laughs> I do love company. Okay, you create a diversion, and I'll escape through the window to get help. That's rude, Eriko. If we're nice and polite, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. <laughs> It's a family recipe. Dark meat or light meat? Bon appetit. Are you kidding? Come on! Mmm, tasty but light. Someone's watching their waistline. Nights, you'll have to give us that recipe. Aww, you're just saying that. <laughs> Let's do this again soon, yeah? Good night, Mr. Sorcerer. You are amazing, Eriko. Another evening like that, and I'm sure he'll give you your body back. Or maybe we take matters into our own hands. Into our own hands? Because I've got his hands. Get it? You stole his hands? Stole? More like Bara. We need to give them back right away! Don't worry, he won't even notice. I mean, the guy is a bit... But you don't even know how to use them! No, I'm sure it's gonna work. Like magic. Because they're magic hands. Get it? Howdy! It's always a pleasure to see new faces in this town. Oh, yeah, it's a quiet neighborhood. I like small towns. You know, it's just more friendly. Well, maybe a little training wouldn't hurt. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You go first, Eriko. Okay, here we go. Transform jet ski. Jet ski! Jet ski! Jet ski! Mamma mia! Uh, spaghetti! It's not working, Eriko. It's never too late to apologize. We can still work this out. Thanks to the power of apology. Hmm, maybe you're right, Daniel. Maybe you're jet ski! <laughs> Uh, Erico, what have you done? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry, I'll fix that. Jet ski. Ah, there it is. Erico. What's going on? Oh, we know! We broke the hands! What are we gonna do, Erico? Nothing, Daniel. I think this is our life now. We'll just have to get used to it. Hmm. hmm. Forget it, forget it, this'll never work. Let's give the hands back and apologize. We've got no choice. Hmm. 
Maybe that's not a bad idea. The power of apology. Ooh, I'm in a really, really bad mood! Okay, it was a terrible idea. What do you want? It's Daniel. Oh, new hairstyle? No. We stole your hands and I was turned into a rare fish of the deep! You... you're not mad at us? No. I'll just banish you to another dimension for eternity! <laughs> but you can come back on weekends and school vacations. <sighs> but the tickets will be very expensive and the seat's really uncomfortable! It's not his fault. I stole the hands. Leave him alone. It takes some nerve to dare to steal my hands. And a good deal of courage to own up to it. Does... does that mean you forgive us? Nah, it means I'm gonna punish both of you. <laughs> oh, no more battery. Don't worry, this will just take a moment. Then I'll punish you. Uh, is anybody hungry? <sighs> Anyone gonna finish the pasta salad? No thanks, I'm all done. Ah, we're good! They're fully charged! Punishment time! <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, I forgive you. I've stolen a hand or two as well in my time. It's about time. I never want to see that awful guy in a bathrobe ever again. <laughs> yeah, I know. He also has terrible breath. And talk about a hunchback. Hmm? Oh, what I meant was... Huh. Hey, you think it's too late to apologize? Hmm. That one. Again? You know that story by heart. Oh, come on, please! Oh, fine, okay. <clears throat> In 2011, Platana's hairstyle not only shocked millions of spectators, it also completely reinvented Mohawk Sideburns. Mohawk Sideburns? <laughs> hmm. You know, speaking of hairstyles, Daniel, it's about time we take care of yours. Really? But, uh, Mom is the one who cuts my hair. Oh, Daniel, Daniel. Don't you think the greatest football player on the planet would also be the greatest hairstylist on the planet? Hmm? Uh, okay. Oh, I knew you'd come to your senses. So, given the shape of your head, we're gonna have to be a little creative. Good morning, world. Good morning, my little kettle. Good morning, my little squashes. Good morning, my lower back. Good morning, my little cup. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, 3 p.m. already? Time to get ready for practice. Good afternoon, my little hazelnuts. Say, where's Daniel? <laughs> Sisu, you look...
look like a kneecap that tried to grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an old fogey trying to look younger. <laughs> you know who you look like? You look exactly like... Oh. <laughs> today's, today's practice is canceled. I'm just not feeling up to it. <laughs> Maple, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make fun of you. <laughs> Nice work, Sisu. Now Maple will never want to coach us again. He always tied my laces for me. <laughs> he always made the coolest cupcakes. Where are we gonna get a new coach now? <laughs> when they assigned this team to me, everyone said it was a lost cause. Who are you? Boy, were they ever wrong. You guys stink, but that's about to change. I'm gonna turn you into champions. <laughs> Any questions? Uh... You're off the team! Everyone else, 10 laps. <laughs> uh, are you sure you know what you're doing, Eriko? Uh, you never coached a team before. Daniel, shh. Daniel, has it ever occurred to you that the greatest football player and hairstylist on the planet would also be a champion coach? Uh, is champion coach a thing? Hey! Don't think I can't see you dragging your feet! I'm gonna sculpt your pudgy little bodies into winning machines! Thirsty! A real champion licks the dew off the field! You're off the team! <sighs> hey, what's this? Uh, You're off the team! <laughs> Maya, what do you think of the new coach? He's an insecure tyrant who will drive us into utter chaos and disaster. Maya, is that Velcro laces I see on your shoes? You're off the team! Have fun with that! That's enough! Eriko, we need to talk. You're off the team! Oh, it's you. Sorry, Daniel. Uh, so, what's up? You can't just get rid of everyone. I'm the only one left! Ah, uh, no. There's still, um, uh, Steven? <laughs> You're off the team! Oh, well, uh... If they don't have what it takes, we'll just buy better players. Is that it? I told you we had no money. No one is that broke. Maple must have stashed some cash somewhere. So what do we have here? Nothing. 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 Well, there has to be something. How can somebody be this broke? Seriously. <sighs> Erica, wait! We need to get the hazelnuts to come back. What? Never. Changing your mind makes you look weak. We need them. Trust me. It's never too late to put the pieces back together. Now we can get back to practice. No, Eriko! You might be the greatest football player in the world, but Maple is a better coach than you! 
Are hmm? you kidding? Maybe one day you'll be a great coach, but right now we need to find Maple. Hey, hey, good morning, world. Watch up, hot chat. Nice tie. Hey, Hansel. Hop back at you. Hiya, Sylvia. How you doing? Hey. What's the best way to make a small fortune in the stock market? Start off with a big fortune. <laughs> <laughs> good one, Patrick. Good one. Bye, bye. Sell, sell! Bye, for goodness sake! Maple, mm -hmm. you here? Wow, Maple! Daniel? We're sorry about everything. Is everything okay, Michael? Children aren't allowed on the sales floor. Everything's fine, Jane. I've got it under control. We're sorry about everything, Maple. That's not my name anymore, Daniel. I've left that life behind me. And here we go! We're really sorry, Maple! Really, really sorry! <laughs> Is everything okay, Michael? We failed! Maple isn't coming back. No more hazelnuts. No more, no more hazelnuts. Bye. Hmm? Aww. Guys? What up? Maple? I'll never abandon you again. <laughs> the program today is... Meditation and Tribal Percussion. Yay! <laughs> well, my work here is done. I'm leaving. Wait, 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 wait. Don't I get a song? <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. Coach. We sure had fun, but now, now it's, it's done. done. Now it's done! Yeah. Make me proud, kids. And don't forget, never give away my autograph for free. Okay, Hazelnuts, gather round. I've got some exciting news. Oh, am I the new team captain? Captain! Daddy! <sighs> um, not quite, Stephen. The mayor's office is looking for a young athlete for their new billboard campaign. Who would like to help promote an active lifestyle? Hmm? No way, Daniel. I'm not gonna play ball in some public ad campaign. <laughs> Did someone say, hmm? handsome athlete? Oh, and what's that? The new official pro league football? Crystal. Crystal? Pfft, how pretentious. Oh. <gasps> Twelve hand-sewn panels for extra precise trajectories. Micro-textured exterior for better ball control. Fully inflated on delivery. Oh. No one overshadows Platana. <laughs> <gasps> What's the matter, Sisu? You think you're better than me with your beach ball? <laughs> now come on, Hazelnuts. Let's all be good sports. Yeah, with a duel and lasers and explosions! And snakes! Ooh! Stop. 
Violence is never the answer. But we can easily sort this out in a fair and fun way. On your mark, stars of the future! Boo! You said there'd be lasers! The first one to cross the finish line gets their face on the billboard! Hang on! Hmm? Wait for me! Uh, Steven? Yeah, that's me! Ah! You're covered in bugs! Oh, this? It's nothing special, just my old lucky football! They're more scared of you than you are of them. Hmm. Erico, we're gonna play together! Focus, Daniel! You have to win the head game first. Tackle your opponent's mind. Nice hairdo. Tell me, do they make those for football players? <laughs> you know, I always thought you were a decent player. A flute player! <laughs> Number 10. Hmm? More like zero! <laughs> ah, I made a lot of players cry. Okay, let's go. I'll psych out Crystal, you deal with Larry. Ah, Crystal. Neon color, huh? Classy. For a bowling ball! Ah, huh, Larry. Nice sweatshirt. A real champion sweatshirt. I guess it's fair since you're our best striker. Hey, don't you ignore me! Do you know who I am? And our best defender, and our best goalie. Don't know what to say, huh? Ha! That's more like it. You smell good, too. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Set! Larry and Daniel, I guess there's no choice. Get ready for the intermediate level course. Ah! No one ties Platana. No one. Plan B. We bribe Larry and Crystal to let us win. Uh, isn't that cheating? Cheating, cheating. Let's not get carried away. There it go. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You win, Erico. Um, mm, mm, mm. handsome. <laughs> what are you doing here, Sisu? I've got a deal for you, Larry. Would you let me win if I gave you a cookie? No. All right, listen up. I need you to abandon the next race. Do we understand each other? What? Not enough for you? You know what tastes good with a cookie? A big glass of cold milk. Deal, deal. One born every second. I'll just leave this here and see you out on the field. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? On your mark, future stars. Boo! You said there'd be explosions. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steven, you can have another try. Ready, set. <laughs> That's not cool. We had a deal. Well, I guess there's only one other way. What a race! <laughs> Too many bugs! Another tie? You're going to drive me nuts! I didn't want it to come to this, but I guess it's time for... the advanced level course. Yeah! We have no choice, Daniel. Plan C. You attack me, 
and we blame Larry. You ready? What? Do it! Don't overthink it. I can't do it, Eriko! I just can't! Hey, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> no! I can't hurt my best friend! Daniel! Come back! Oh, man, that does it. Plan D, we eliminate Crystal. Yeah, too old. Too bald. Too classic. Oh, here we go. This guy's a real pro. Hey, what about the check? And the tip? Lying low before the final, huh? Sorry, kiddo, but you've already lost. No hard feelings. You're a tough one, aren't you? You remind me of when I was starting out. I had a fluorescent period, too. We'll show them, old ball. That's what real friends do. They fight together to the end. You just start in your career and bam. You come up against me. I mean, I've never lost a game, ever. So a public ad campaign, <laughs> what do I care? Hey, that's right. I don't care. I finally understand, Eriko. I'm sorry. If you really want to win, I'm here for you. No. Wait, Daniel. I've changed my mind. I don't care about winning. Crystal needs this victory more than we do. See you. That's great. Now we can do the last race just for fun. Yeah, Daniel. I may have gone a tiny bit too far. <laughs> There'd be snakes. Wait! Wait! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drop out of the race, Crystal! It's a matter of life or death! Drop out of the race, Larry! It's a matter of life or death! Let go of me, Sisu! Ready? Hmm. Hmm. Set. Daniel, the last time.
Thank <laughs> you.